Thanks, thanks, Dennis. And uh, so for the next minute uh, or two or three, we'll see how, if I can make this, we'll consider our brains and uh, why we sleep. And I promise I'll put the brain back at the end. Um, one third of our time is spent asleep, out of touch with our surroundings, a state that should have led to evolutionary disaster. Yet, sleep remains essential. On a nightly basis, sleep allows our brain to recover from a busy day. Researchers, including those working with me in the Lynch Laboratories in the Department of Biology here at Penn, have found that sleep enables the storage of memories. These scientific observations were summarized by a TV philosopher, Desmond Hume, in the series Lost, when he proclaimed, it's not a dream, it's a memory, about the replaying of his life on a Pacific island. We all realize the impact of pulling an all-nighter, but what are the molecular and cellular mechanisms that go awry in our brain? A clue comes from our tradition of drinking coffee to stay awake. Caffeine inhibits the chemical adenosine, which causes us to feel sleepy. Our research with Phil Hayden at Tufts University and Marcos Frank here at Penn has revealed that the source of adenosine in the brain is not the nerve cells that we all think about when we think about the brain, but rather the glial cells that surround and support those neurons. Over evolution, the ratio of glial cells to neurons has increased. In worms, there's one glial cell for every five neurons. In humans, there are 10 glial cells for each neuron. Perhaps it's the evolution of these glial support cells that provided the drive for the evolution of sleep along with our ability to store memories. Thanks.